the basic difference between these two types of trials stems from the fact that you've got different objectives. So that in an explanatory trial, you're trying to answer a question about um, biological processes or something like that. Whereas in a, a pragmatic trial, you're trying to answer a question about what would happen in the real world if you put this intervention into place. It's easiest to start um, thinking about the distinction if you think about drug trials. So in an explanatory drug trial, um, you if you want to answer a question about the biological processes, one of the really important things in an explanatory trial is that your um, experiment is really tightly controlled so that you know that the only difference between your intervention and control groups um, is that your intervention group gets the intervention, the drug, and that your control group doesn't. And that in the intervention group, uh, the individuals in that group take the drug exactly as they're supposed to so that you're, you're making this comparison between the drug itself and not having the drug. Um, so what's really important in an explanatory trial is adherence to the drug. Um, but that's not so important in a pragmatic trial. So for example, in a pragmatic trial, if we want to find out how, um, a, say, say, a drug is developed in, in explanatory trials and then in a pragmatic trial, we want to find out how that drug will work in real life then we will want to trial that drug in the setting in which it will be used in real life. And if in that setting what happens is that participants are given the drug to take away, say, and um, have at home, and they might be asked to take the drug five times a day, and they decide they don't want to take it five times a day, they only want to take it three times a day, or two times a day, or not at all, then in a pragmatic trial we allow that kind of... Um, difference to go on. We allow different participants to take the drug in the way that they um, want to. So that adhering to the drug um, is not as important as it is in an explanatory trial. That's not to say that we wouldn't want to look at adherence and find out how people were adhering, but it's not the same as, uh, as in an explanatory trial where you need people to adhere to the drug in order to answer the question. The question in a pragmatic trial is about the real world. What would happen in the real world? And in the real world, some of these individuals wouldn't take the drug at all. So we want, want to see what would happen if the drug um, was uh, given in the real world. So um, moving on from drug trials, a lot of uh, pragmatic trials aren't drug trials at all. One of the implications of the definition of a pragmatic trial, um, that it's to help people to decide on um, clinical decisions, make clinical decisions about care that they're providing patients, is that the intervention might be anything at all. It might be reorganisation of health service, for example. It might be education to patients, all sorts of things. So in the case when it's not a drug trial, um, one of the big differences between that and explanatory trials is that um, you can't use placebos. In an explanatory trial, you will often use placebos in order to ensure that you haven't got bias. So a placebo, um, something which looks like the drug but isn't in fact the drug, um, will be given to the control group and the intervention group will get the real drug. Nobody knows which individuals have got the real drug and which individuals have got the placebo. And in that way, there's a lot of bias which is taken out of the trial. In a pragmatic trial, you can't do that because you can't give people placebo education, for example, or placebo surgery, or a lot of things where you just can't find placebos. So in that case, you have to deal with bias in a different way. And that's one of the key differences between explanatory and pragmatic trials. So those, those four things, the, the fact that um, the um, explanatory trials are very tightly controlled, whereas in pragmatic trials you're more concerned about setting and not, not tight control. Um, the fact that bias is handled differently in the trials and the fact that with pragmatic trials you've often got uh, interventions that aren't um, drugs. Those are some of the key differences. There are a couple of other differences. That issue about non-adherence then rolls out into the way that you analyse the trials and so that you analyse um, trials in a slightly different way with pragmatic and explanatory trials. And in addition, the fact that many of these interventions are non-drug non trials um, or even when they are drug trials, they're much, usually much less risky um, to the patient than um, explanatory trials, and so those are two other key differences.